Hi, my name is Joseph Park, the WBA champion of the world, and you're watching Sporting Icons. Now, just when you think a fan base can't stoop any lower or come out with any more kind of ludicrous excuses, well, some of the Deontay Wilder fans, they managed to do it. And I'll explain why they managed to do it in a second. Now, yesterday morning, I was sent this particular screenshot that you're seeing on your screen right now. And I will read it out for you guys because I don't know how it's going to look on uh, screen. But when I first seen it yesterday morning, I thought, okay, it's just a Deontay Wilder fan. There's loads of them around. They can't let go of the fact that Wilder got absolutely battered by Tyson Fury in one of the most one-sided beatdowns, humiliating beatdowns that has ever, ever happened in a world heavyweight title fight. It was embarrassing, truly, truly embarrassing. But I thought, okay, well, maybe he could come up with excuses. That's fine, push to one side. Or maybe he's poking fun at some of these Deontay Wilder fans. Don't know which one, so I can't really put this person on blast because I don't know which side of the fence he's sitting on. But then loads of other people started sending me the same screenshot time and time and time again. And I'm being sent links to other channels who are making videos on this one. Now, I don't know if this person got this information from those channels or these channels got this information from this source. I don't know which one it is. But if you're an uploader, you have to cite a source in your description box. If you're gonna put something out as a matter of fact, then you have to provide a source. Otherwise, it's slander and is deemed as spam. Spam here on YouTube is illegal. That's why every time I do a video, there will be a source in the description box. If there is no source, it's because in the video I've said this is my opinion uh, or something is potential, okay? But they're not saying it's potential, they're saying it's a matter of fact. Now, let's get into the statement. Breaking news, Team Fury paid one of Deontay Wilder's teammates to spike his water before the fight. That explains why Wilder was so sluggish during his walk to the ring. Wilder initially thought it was his suit because he couldn't understand why he felt the way he did. A doctor also confirmed from the damage Wilder received in the fight, cuts inside the ear and busted up lip in the first round suggest that Fury's gloves were indeed loaded. Wilder never made an official statement to the press about his suit. The media overheard him talking to his team about why he felt so sluggish before the fight and they ran with the story. Since then, Wilder has got rid of the snakes inside his camp and is preparing for war. So there you go. Now, as I said, um, if that's just a Joe Blow on social media putting out that kind of stuff, it is what it is, okay? Nothing can be done about that. But if you're a YouTube uploader, you have a certain sense of responsibility. So if you're coming out that this is actual fact, who's the doctor? Who is it? You need to cite who this doctor is, what his or her qualifications are, and their reasons for it. That's what you need to do. You can't just say a doctor did it because it's spamming illegal here on YouTube. Fury paid, or a member of Team Fury paid a member of Deontay Wilder's team to spike his drink. Again, how do you know that one? Because Deontay Wilder, he passed all Vardy and there was no adverse findings. So therefore, nothing could be in his system. But if you're going to run with that story, which member of Team Fury did it and which member of Team Wilder? Because quite clearly, when this thing finishes off here by saying that Wilder's got rid of the snakes, okay, then clearly he knows who it is. Who was it? Name and shame. Name and shame. As far as the suit is concerned, who cares whether or not he officially said it to the press or if he didn't. The fact is, he did say it. He did say it. It doesn't matter whether, whether or not there's a camera in his face and you can see the, the words coming out of his mouth. It makes no difference. The fact is, he said it. Yahoo Sports come out of it. If Wilder did not say that and Yahoo Sports put it out, then Wilder needs to do something about Yahoo Sports. But Wilder hasn't come out and denied this, has he? He hasn't done it. Now, these uploaders, these Deontay Wilder fans who are still hanging on to the fact that Wilder got absolutely bounced up and down off that canvas and humiliated the way that he'd done, like he was Bambi on ice, you guys, I hope you don't have a family, because if you do, if you have a partner and kids and all that kind of thing, how do you look them in the eye and say, I am the man of the house, I am the breadwinner, you can come to me for emotional support, when you are quite clearly the one in need of emotional support. If I was you, I would go to the doctor, go get your levels of testosterone tested. Because if it's low, that will explain why you're so emotional, why you're always crying. Now, we know Wilder is off that kind of vein because the guy even said he wants to be pregnant at one time. And he comes out with all other kinds of things. Now, we know that these guys are used to batting for Deontay Wilder. Quite how they want to be batting with him is entirely their own choice, right? And do they want to be the daddy of, of 
of um, his love child. I don't know. But the fact is, is that they're very, very emotional. Every time Wilder does something, even though it's obvious to the world, it's absolutely ridiculous and he's ducking certain fighters and all this kind of thing, they will always have an excuse. And they are the most ridiculous, stupid excuses you've ever heard in your life. So if you support these people, then that makes you part of their crowd, doesn't it? That makes you emotionally imbalanced as well. I've never known a fan base like it. I know Wilder's had some very good fans. I'm not saying he hasn't, but... He does have a section of fans who will protect him at all costs, like they want to be mummy to him, Mother Goose, as Wilder would call him, Mother Goose. So to come out with these kind of things is ridiculous. Glove gate, Tyson Fury had floppy gloves in the first fight. Yeah, so that's the reason why he lost a rematch yeah, 18 months later, because of the first fight. That's why, even though Tyson Fury in that first fight in Los Angeles wore Everlast, MX gloves. Tars uh, Deontay Wilder is sponsored by Everlast. You do know that. So therefore he will know about these gloves. The fact that they are made of horsehair, a little bit of moisture, they do go a little bit floppy. It's what happens. Let's not forget as well the fact that, you know, they want to talk about how Tarzan Fury's gloves were loaded in the second fight and then they were floppy in the first one. Let's not forget that the athletic commissions for both states, California and Las Vegas, are the ones who give Tyson Fury the gloves. A member of Team Wilder is in the changing room when he's getting his hands wrapped and having the glove put on as well. On these instances, it was JD's. JD's is Deontay Wilder's trainer and manager. So he's probably the best person to be in there overseeing all this, right? But he didn't see anything untoward. And straight after the fight as well, even though that the referee's checking the gloves right before the bell rings, the gloves and that are handed over to the commission as well. Do you guys use the common sense that you were born with? Is, is there a, an, um, another pandemic in America where education is faltering? Is that what's going on? You guys are, you are embarrassing yourselves is what you're doing. You are truly embarrassing yourselves. I've never known a fan base reach as much as what these guys do. That's what I'm saying. You need to get yourself tested for testosterone. You need to go do this. Truly, I would advise you to go do this because you are emotionally imbalanced. You are highly emotional. Excuse making. Don't, you cannot look there and call yourself the man of the house. You're not the man of the house. You're, you're just not. They talk tough online. You're not tougher. You're not. You don't know what it is you're talking about. Some of these people think that they're actually real life reporters. You're not. Any Joe Blow can pick up a camera, put it on themselves, or do a video here on YouTube. You're not a reporter. You require, you don't need any qualifications to do this. So don't think you're something special because you're not. You're just not. Anybody can come out of all kinds of excuses. Anybody can. And yes, we understand when our favorite fighters lose, we try and look at it and say, okay, well, what else happened other than the fact they got battered? Maybe something else happened. And maybe something did happen with Wilder. Maybe. But I'm pretty sure it's none of these excuses that, that are being floated around. Maybe he was unwell on the day of that fight. Maybe it happens. But Wilder, he always seems to have an excuse. All the time. Well, I had a broken hand. That's why I couldn't throw the punch properly in the first fight. Of course you did. That's why you knocked the crap out of that mascot. He broke his hand in the second fight. At what point did you break your hand? You only threw the bloody punch, what, two, maybe three times? And, oh, okay, maybe because he's getting bounced up and down off the canvas, maybe he landed on his hand and twisted it, maybe. I don't know. But the excuses that they're coming out with is humiliating, it's embarrassing. And anybody who supports them going, yeah, yeah, you're right, that's what happened. Team Fury spiked Deontay Wilder's drink. A doctor says that Tyson Fury's gloves were loaded. Tyson Fury's gloves in the first fight were all floppy. They were fixed. Have you heard yourselves? Durrell convinced um, Mark Brilliant to throw in the towel. When the whole damn world could see that the towel should have been thrown into the ring maybe two or three rounds beforehand. You're pathetic. You're absolutely pathetic. You are absolutely pathetic. Now go put your big girl panties on 
Go sit in your room, suck your thumb, and cry yourself to sleep. Your boy got battered. That's the truth. You need to face up to these things. That's the only way you can move forward. He got battered by the better man. Tarsen Fury, the Gypsy King, is a better fighter, a better boxer, a better tactician in the boxing ring than Deontay Wilder. Not by a little bit, by a hellacious amount. Accept it. Accept it. It's the only way you're going to move forward. All right? Drop your thoughts below. Click thumbs up, subscribe. Catch you all in the next video.